Hello, my beautiful fountain friends. Welcome to Creepy Nips. I'm Count Chuckula, and we're going to talk about some stuff that I got recently, and then we'll do the next episode of DEADHS. Um, so I guess we'll, hmm, let's do the best first. This, ooh, focus, thank you, is a Pilot E95S in black that I received as a gift. Yeah. Yeah. What? What in the name of all the, of the saints and the demons of hell? I, I don't know what this person was thinking, but it happened. It's mine, and I am grateful for it. This pen is beautiful. It writes like an absolute dream. I love Pilot's Fine Nibs. They're just absolutely stunning. So this capping mechanism is like almost as satisfying as the Prera. It just like, and then once there you get a little bit of resistance and just, ah, oh, it just goes on. Oh my God, it's so smooth. It doesn't have like a click click, but um, it clicks when these metal parts get together and like hang out. Kiki. It's very nice. I love it. It's incredible. I've wanted one of those since, like, I started getting into fountain pens, and now I have one, and it's great. And the wrapping paper, it came in? Okay. Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. Even though the floor isn't actually black and white chevrons, it's brown and cream chevrons, but everybody says it's brown and cream chevron, or black and white chevrons, because that's what it looks like with the red curtains, and it looks like it's tricking the eye. But that is not the case. It is brown and cream. FYI. Um, and then next, this was also a gift, is a backup of Colorverse Matter slash Antimatter, but Matter's the one that really matters. <laughs> um, and then I also got myself a backup bottle of Colorverse Matter. Cause somebody scared me into thinking that it might not be like not be available soon or like discontinued, which is ridiculous because none of Colorverse's inks have been discontinued except their limited editions where it's in the name. So Whatever. Whatever. I have it now. I don't have to be scared. Because I still have like a little over half of... No, about a half a bottle left. My first bottle. And speaking of bottles. Stipula Calamo Dark Grey. This was part of my present to myself for completing uh, my no-buy month in May. Uh, I had a sample of this from a previous Van Ness box. And I loved it so much. It reminds me of... Uh... There's the swatch there. Let's take a look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, complex, warm. And it reminds me of both a, a darker version of Colorverse Matter and a cheaper version of Graf von Faber-Castell Stone Gray. No, no, they're still a little different. The writing, it doesn't look... The Faber-Castell is a little bit warmer, but not, not by much. They look pretty similar there. Pepper Castell's a little bit darker too, but I like this a lot. It's it's amazing. And it's 20 bucks for 70, 70 milliliters. This is a big ass bottle. Look at that. It's chonky boy. I haven't opened it yet. So there's still a, a seal. But maybe I could I'll break it right now. So that we can all do it together. I did it take a look at what's on the inside so i'm not going to be swatching this Ooh, neat i haven't seen an ink come with one of these since i got a uh there's a company that used to exist that made ink called um i wanted to say blackstone but it's not blackstone because that's bookbinders bookbinders and i got a bottle of their ink and it came with one of these plastic inserts maybe i shouldn't open that because i'll probably splatter ink everywhere and i don't want to do that but that's a nice mouth it's big probably fit your thumb you could easily fit your thumb in there i don't know why you would want to but you can and i love this like rubberized thing on top it's not like super grippy but it's it's the it's coated with something squishy oh that's not sticky whatever keep away from children okay and that's that 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 that's about it for now now it's swatchy time. So we're going to get on with that five minutes later. Boop. 
All right, so I got a random five sample pack and I got three of my choosing. So we'll do the sample pack first. There's blues in this one. So we'll get those over with now. We have Monteverde Ocean Noir, which out of all of their Noir series is the one I was least excited to try. But hey, 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 maybe I can pass it off to somebody who will love it. If you want to try Monteverde Ocean Noir, call me, baby. Ugh. We need to turn off autofocus. Boop. It's a nice dark blue. I wouldn't call it a blue black. It's a dark blue. Because there's certainly a difference. Get out of my nib. Get out. It was in the nib. It wouldn't leave. It wasn't right. It wasn't right and it wasn't fair. Yeah. It's kind of... It's bright. At least when it goes down. Oops. Ooh, ooh, I'll remember to do it this time. There we go. I've had Laura Branigan's self-control stuck in my head all day. Like, all day. I don't understand it. Ugh. It looks like we're getting some sheen. It's, it's pretty bright. For, for a darker blue. Not like a navy or anything. It's just a dark blue. It's just fine, I guess. It's dark, I guess. I guess. Ooh, I need a paper towel. Because I use like a towel towel to like clean my brushes and stuff. But if I'm doing something like this, it's way easier to manage with a paper towel. I want to be as sustainable as I can. Now we have Robert Oster Oster Toaster Foster Lake of Fire. Which is a teal with bits of red sheen from everything I've read about it. I've tried fire and ice, which was in a an ink flight. But I never tried like a fire because these aren't my they're not my colors. They're not. They're just not. There's nothing I could do about it. Boop. But I am sure this is on somebody's wish list out there. So this one's for you. They sink as hell. <laughs> Boop. Boop.
it's not quite as te- it's like it reminds me the most of Emerald of Shavor, which is weird because that's supposed to be a grain or a teal. But it could just be my memory being stupid. Because that's just what it reminds me of. There's nothing I can do about that either. Like a fire. Looks a bit like a lake. But I don't know how a lake can be on fire unless it's like swamp gas. Spooky swamp gas in your house. Next, now we're onto things that I'm actually interested in. <laughs> private Reserve Sherwood Green. I've had Diamond Sherwood Green before, but I've never had the Private Reserve. Unless I have. Wait, I gotta do some double checking, because that sounds familiar. Okay, we're good. We're good. Crisis averted. This is nice though. I like it more on the what? Anyway, into on the, the top of the the line. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a cooler green, but it's it's pretty standard. I didn't do a thingy on the paper for the last whatever. I don't care. It's like a fire. I can eat my butt. <laughs> I'm fine, really, I am. Yay! Yay! See, that's, that's pretty nice. It's a nice green. It's a little on the cool side. But hey, I'm not going to bitch about it. Oh, There's no way. There's no way they could beat the random samples that I got last month. It was all grays and an orange. It was like spooky Halloween pumpkin fun times in the dark. Next, we have Deatramentous Fragrance Ginkgo Green. I'm not sure what green this is in their standard line, but it, this smells exactly like bathroom cleaner. Like Lysol. It, uh, it, <laughs> I tried to hold it up so you could sniff it. That's not how that works. All right. Oh, and I was informed that Diatromantis Edgar Allan Poe is emerald green in their standard line. Doot, doot. I don't know why they think like scented inks are a good idea. They're they're not. Unless it just like naturally has a scent. 
Like, I don't know what Caveza uses for their, like, honey-scented funness. Like, vanilla creme brulee thing. But it's not super strong. It's definitely not offensive. I don't want to write with bathroom cleaner. <laughs> Hmm. This ink looks like it's both really wet and really thin. At least that's how it feels to me. Oh, I didn't do that green. Whatever. We'll go back to that because I actually want to get some of that on here. Uh, do, do, do. Showing up a little bit cooler for you, but it's not by much. All right. You need to move. It's fine. It's fine. I forgot to turn auto focus back on. Whatever. <laughs> Next. Not that brush. Not that one. Not that one. This one. We have Califolio Bordeaux. 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 I thought this was one I also already had, but that is not the case. Oh, I just put my hand in the ink. I was about to dot something. There's nothing to dot. This is not too dissimilar from Roshizuku Yamabudo. It's just not quite as saturated. But it's, I think, I'm pretty sure it's the same color. <clears throat> and I just looked at the Yamabudo sample. So, I would know. It's very Yamabudo. Ugh, neat. Why do I breathe so much? Alright. No, I got a drip of water on it. Whatever, it'll look cool. That's fine. There we go. There's that. And now, now onto my chosen trio. We'll start off with this one, okay? This is Caveze or KWZ Iron Gall Green Number 3. Now, from all the swatches online, I have uh, suspected that it is the same ink that is in the Tools to Live By bottle that they sell for $60 US. Um... So I wanted to I wanted to be able to like have more of this ink because it's my favorite green. It's like the best green I've ever used. I have like a whole review ready to go. I just wanted to make sure that my theory was correct. And it is my assumption that these are the same ink. But I'm gonna do a card for the KWZ anyway, just to be sure. I don't want to put that information out there and have it be wrong. Because the tools to live by inks are made by Caveze. Alright. Oh no, I got some fucking blue on Whoa.
brush is clean. I should be cutting these part out, but I don't want to. Whatever. It gives you guys time to think. Shoot, I forgot to do that Bordeaux. Uh. Doot doot doot. Oh no, 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 no. Don't don't go crazy. Don't go crazy. That is beautiful. It looks to be exactly the same. We'll have to wait till it dries. But also this the, the card I'm gonna compare it to has been done for over a month. And if you know anything about Iron Gall inks, you'll know that a good portion of them will darken over time. So I will have to do, I'll do a fresh swatch of the tools to live by right there. I have some in a sample vial. I don't want to. Mm. Oh, I can't find the sample. Whatever. I guess we'll just have to do it the way you're supposed to do it. We can zoom out for that, can we? Yes. All right. So we'll turn this upside down. Turn it right back up. The seal seems to make some suction. It sucks the ink back up so the marble moves. So you don't get as much of a fill as you normally would. Actually, we don't even need to use a brush, really. All right, so that's got to dry. Okay, next. Oh, I got a stupid thing on the car. Whatever. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll deal with it. I can handle these things. I'm an adult. Um, Stipula Calamo Fading Gray, which is their light gray in their series. There's dark gray and fading gray. Those are the grays. And this one's really pretty. I probably want a bottle of that at some point, too. But I'm going to be good. Boom. This one's probably good. Oh, I already like this too much. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is beautiful. Shit. <laughs> of course, now I want a bottle of it. Like, more than I thought I would. I'll not forget the swatch that time. Well, poop cats. I'm a rice ball filled with anchovies. No, thank you. Ugh. 
This is really pretty. It kind of reminds me of Colorverse Matter. But not quite as warm or as complex. But it's beautiful. I love that. It's like my favorite kind of gray. Hooah! Now at last. Now, the first time I noticed this ink, it was mentioned by Rat Reviews on Instagram. And they're like, yeah, it's like this muted, like, pastel kind of wine color thingy going on. It's like pink. And every time I'd seen, like, swatches of it before, it was like this dark red all the time. All, all the time? All the time. But then I saw it, like, thinned out, and I'm like, <gasps> this is what I wanted brunch date to be. And it wasn't. But now I have this. Brunch date was too, like, orangey brown. Mildly disappointing. Holding the pen weird. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm not. Oh my god. <laughs> do, 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 do. Dip, dip, dip. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. I feel like this would be great for artworks. Stuff like that. Beautimus. Beautimus. So we're going to wait for these to dry. I'm going to show them off. And then you can be on your merry way. Okay, they're mostly dry, mostly all the way. So we'll look at this Tomori River first. So there's our Monteverde Ocean Noir. We've got some nice coppery sheen there. There is Private Reserve Sherwood Green, which has some like red violet sheen. Not bad. There is the Ginkgo Green from Diatermentis. This is Califolio Bordeaux. It's got some nice dark antique gold looking sheen. And these two, all right, this one is the Caveze Iron Gall Green number three. And this is the Tools to Live by Green. Now, I don't know what you think, but to me, these are identical. If I had to, like, nitpick and say that there is a difference, it might be that uh, this one's a little bit more foresty. Sorry, I gotta stay in focus. Than the Tools to Live by but I don't think that they look the same. So it's probably just the light, the way this watch was done, stuff like that. There can be a con in 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 inconsistencies there. <laughs> There's the Stipula Calamo Fading Gray, which is beautiful. I want a bottle of this. I already said that like eight times, but I want a bottle of it. There is the um, Colorver Sea Europa, which is beautiful. It's a nice, like, kind of dusty pastel red i love it i love it it's great it's great so let's look at the cards now some more of that sheen it's a dark blue it's dark it's a blue it's pretty bright especially when those light parts they seem to kind of glow from within it's a thing robert lake of fire <laughs> Which looks like fire and ice in these lighter parts. But it's like a dark blue teal all the way through. I missed a spot, but I don't give a fuck. Private Reserve Sherwood Green. It's got some sheen. 
it's green with some sheen. Mm. Let me think of what this reminds me of. Not diamine emerald. Maybe diamine woodland green. Where is that? Well, here's diamine Sherwood green. Yeah. So there's those. I like Sherwood green better. Private reserve is a little more saturated, but the color of green that the diamine is is better, in my opinion. Do, 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 do. I don't have anything else like exactly like that. Okay. Okay. Here's the Diatriment Ginkgo Green Fragranced Ink of Weird. Let's see. Does this smell like bathroom cleaner? No. No, it smells of paper, which is good. So, yeah, it's it's flat. It's very flat. It's flat, flat. Flat like a table that is well made. Here's the Califolio Bordeaux. It's got some hints of gold sheen in there, but not a whole lot. It's a pretty color. It's very Yamabudo. Let me get Yamabudo. Where is it? What the hell? There we go. They're pretty similar. Yamabudo yeah, is a little more saturated. And California is a little bit brighter. A little more pink. Yamabudo yeah, is a little bit more fuchsia. Or fuchsia. That, was, that will help you in the pronouncing of it. It's Caveze Iron Gall Green number three. I can't really tell a difference between the two because these parts look the same. It's got the same black sheen. The writing looks identical. It'll focus. There we go. So yeah. Like 99% sure it's the same. But I can't, I'm not a chemist. I'm not going to test the formulas and all that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe that'll come later. But here's the stipula fading gray, which is, oh my god, it's stunning. Here it is next to the dark gray. They don't look very dissimilar. Dark gray is just a teensy bit darker. There's really not much of a difference at all. So I would imagine if you left this in a pen for like a month and you wrote with it, it would look exactly like this. Let's compare them to my baby. He's my baby. Yeah. Yeah. Go. This coloring is difficult to manage. Oh, let's put the dark gray in the middle. Or the fading gray in the middle. You know what I mean. There we go. Matter is definitely a little like a warmer than both of these. But it's still... It's a nice trio. It's a nice trio. Not a whole lot of differences. Whoop! There it is. And there's Europa. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's pretty. I do like it. There we go. Boom. Shakalaka. Now, what I forgot to mention was I got another thing or two with this order. They are my first ever Blackwing pencils. Huh? Huh? I got their volume series number 10. I only got like single pencils because, you know. Gotta watch out. I'm not gonna buy, but I don't know like what lead set, like style I like best. All that kinds of stuff. Um, and then they're just matte. One. I switched the erasers because I figured it would look better. This one had a black eraser, which looked really good, but this one looks stupid with the white one. And I had to sharpen them with an X-Acto knife, which I prefer the look of, to be completely honest. But I don't have a pencil sharpener that treated these well. I have like a little, it came in like an art set by Generals, and it just like ate the tip. It was gross. But yeah, these are awesome. I'll do a writing sample. Uh, 
I was probably out of focus the whole time. My bad. Yeah, I like the gray one better. This is this is really great. I love it for I'm I'm I've blah, blah, blah. I've been really liking it for sketching. I don't know why I can't speak. There we go. The mat is a softer lead. I think the number ten is they're like extra firm. So there we go. Cool. That was awesome. That's fun stuff. So I don't have anything else to talk about. So, bye, Punch Nazis. I love you.